Fantasy matchup time. Floyd Mayweather versus Tommy Hearns. Now, we all know that Floyd Mayweather is a supreme counterpuncher. We all know that he has a slick defense. We all know that he has a nice, crisp, straight right hand that he throws, either as a lead or as a counter. We know that he's good on the inside. We know that he's also good at moving. And he's very good in the center of the ring, picking you off with shots here and there. But what Floyd Mayweather isn't, is he isn't a pressure fighter. He's not a guy who's accustomed to having to walk a guy down, trap him, and wear him down with shots and take him into the trenches. Floyd has never had to fight like that. Certainly not at elite level. His style has been based around utilizing his physical gifts, which are he's got terrific hand-eye coordination, he's got terrific eyes, he can spot things, and he's very athletic, obviously. He has great instincts. And one thing that Floyd has, which he utilizes extremely well, is very long arms for his height. And I'm not just talking about his reach. His reach is long anyway. 72 inch reach for a, a guy who's 5'8 is long. But it's his arm length, because the reach and arm length are two different measurements. I've been over this many times. If you don't know the difference between the two measurements, look it up. But his arm length is tremendously long. Apparently as long as either Vladimir or Vitaly Klitschko. HBO measured his arms and they were as long as Vitaly or Vladimir's. That's how ridiculously long Floyd's arms are. And he utilizes those long arms extremely well. There are very few fighters in boxing who utilize their reach, their arm length, as well as Floyd Mayweather does. Vladimir Klitschko and very few other fighters would be up there with Floyd in terms of being able to utilize their arm length. When Floyd's in the middle of the ring, very few guys can lay a glove on him because he uses those long arms exceptionally well. He's always at the precise, exact distance needed to be able to hit you with that right hand, but you can't hit him back. Your punches are just falling short by a couple inches. Okay, so, and, and like I say, there's, there's a difference between having the arm length or the reach and being able to use it. There are guys out there who have long arms, but they don't know how to use it. They haven't developed a technique, a style. They don't have the hand-eye coordination or the reflexes to be able to really maximize the reach the way that Floyd Mayweather can do it. But Tommy Hearns was also a guy who knew how to maximize his reach. Tommy Hearns was also a guy who could stand in the middle of the ring and hit you with shots and you couldn't hit him back. The only guys who ever beat Tommy Hearns were guys who out-muscled him, guys who bullied him. Okay, in Tommy Hearns' prime, no one ever outboxed him. But that's not because he was as slick as Floyd Mayweather or as sharp on the counter as Floyd Mayweather. Tommy Hearns was a great counter-puncher, not as good as Floyd, but he was a great counter-puncher. He was very, very sharp, very quick. The reason that most people couldn't hang, well, pretty much nobody could hang in the middle of the ring with Tommy Hearns is mainly because of the fact that Hearns was so ridiculously tall for his weight when he was, especially when he was down at welterweight or junior middleweight. This guy was 6'1", with a 78 inch reach. And God knows what type of arm length. It was definitely ridiculous. Much longer arms than Floyd. So Floyd's not a guy who can bully Tommy Hearns or push him back or force him into a brawl like Marvin Hagler did, because Marvin Hagler was a great boxer as well, great technical skills. He didn't brawl with Tommy Hearns because he just felt like a brawl for no reason. He did it because he knew that as good a boxer as he was, he wouldn't be able to hang in the center of the ring with Tommy Hearns. He'd get his head taken off. And Hagler had to just grit his teeth and walk through a shitstorm of right hands against Tommy Hearns and immediately drag him into a brawl. That's where Marvin Hagler's extra physical strength and his better chin was, you know, could come to the surface. And Iran Barkley had to go for a shitstorm, certainly in the first fight against Tommy Hearns before he caught him. Sugar Ray Leonard had, was getting outboxed against Tommy Hearns for most of the fight until he had to grit his teeth and just try and walk through some punches and get to Tommy Hearns late in the fight when he was tired and drag him into the trenches and he did it successfully. Floyd is not a risk taker like that. Floyd's not as strong as the guys I just mentioned. He's not as physically big. I don't think he'd be able to take Tommy Hearns into the trenches. If he's in the middle of the ring with Tommy Hearns, Hearns outreach, 
Hearns' arms were several inches longer than Floyd's. He had a great fast jab. He could jab Floyd to the chest, jab him to the head, and Floyd's right-hand counters would be falling short. It's all well and good being a counter-puncher, but if you go in there against a guy who has much longer arms than you and knows how to keep you at the end of those long arms, you're going to be countering thin air. I don't. Floyd would have to try and adjust and try and take more risks than he's accustomed to taking against Tommy Hearns just to be able to land. And I can't see Floyd doing it, particularly after he feels the power of Tommy Hearns' shots. His left hook to the body particularly and his straight right hand. If he felt, if he felt Shane Mosley's power, he would feel Tommy Hearns' power and the risk involved in trying to land your own right hand against a guy so tall, punching up at an angle that Floyd's not accustomed to punching up at, having to cut down range against a guy with ridiculously long arms is something Floyd's not accustomed to doing, having to adjust his balance and everything to all that. I can't see Floyd wanting to take the risk of getting hit with a right hand. And I think that Tommy Hearns would actually beat Floyd Mayweather on points. I don't, I don't think he'd knock him out because we know Floyd is very slick and, and what have you. And I don't think Floyd would take the risk needed to give Tommy, Tommy Hearns the opportunity to land his big right hand and knock Floyd out. But I do think that Tommy Hearns would keep Floyd in his shell. He'd box nicely behind a jab. And remember, if these two guys were to fight in the theoretical boxing world, they would have seen each other's styles in other fights. Okay, you, Tommy Hearns would have been, a, let's say Tommy Hearns was around in the modern era, he'd look at a guy like Vladimir Klitschko and see the way he keeps guys on the outside. A good example would be Vladimir Klitschko against Eddie Chambers. Eddie Chambers is, you know, obviously not as good as Floyd, but stylistically there are similarities there in, a, in, a, in the fact that uh, Eddie Chambers is slick, very good counter puncher, quick hands, not as athletic as Floyd, but, you know, there's a basic similarity there in terms of the way... In my opinion, the fight between Mayweather and Hearns would look, it would look similar to Chambers against Klitschko. As, as skilled as Chambers is, and as good as Chambers did against guys like Dimitrenko, who was much taller than himself, <coughs> Dimitrenko wasn't able to utilize his height and reach the way Vladimir Klitschko could in his jab. Klitschko was much better and is able to use his height and reach far more effectively and just negate all the skills that Eddie Chambers had. Eddie, Eddie Chambers has got much better skills than Klitschko, all round skills but they were completely neutralized by Klitschko's mastery of height and reach and distance in his jab and totally nullifying anything that Eddie Chambers had. Like I say, Tommy Hearns was never outboxed in his prime. Uh, yeah, he was beaten on points by Barkley in the rematch, but that's not because Barkley outboxed him, that's because he out-hustled him, he bullied him, he intimidated him because he obviously knocked out Hearns in the first fight and Hearns was a bit gun shy and uh, Barkley just managed to intimidate him and bully him. He certainly didn't outbox him. So, yeah, I would take Tommy Hearns to beat Mayweather either on a 12-round decision or a 15-round decision. That's my take on that fantasy matchup. But drop your comments below if you disagree or if you agree, it's all good. Obviously, Mayweather has a lot of fanatical fans, so there's going to be a lot of people who disagree, but it's cool. Drop your comments below. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.